Welcome back, everybody, to Boats vs. Hallover. Remain a machine, take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet, Miami, Florida. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the inlet, but today we are not at Hallover. We're a little bit north up at Boca Inlet, and today we are experiencing some moderate conditions. We have a 15-mile-an-hour northeast wind, an outgoing tide, which is going to make for some moderate chop and some interesting conditions as our captains step in the ring and try and do battle with the inlet. Let's go ahead and get this episode started. Our first round competitor is about to enter the ring, and it's going to be an intrepid making its way out of Boca. Now, this crew's coming out just a bit slow. One or two more miles per hour, and they probably have this boat up on step. They basically almost stuffed the bow in that first set of waves there, but they're still going to work their way out into some of the bigger rollers. Here, things are starting to get rough in Boca, and Bam, there we go. We've stuffed it. Unfortunately for this crew, that's going to be a loss. There's only a few rules on this, and if you stuff the bow, unfortunately the inlet will take the win. But these guys are getting rocked. Boca's really working this crew over. Once again, just a couple extra miles an hour would have really changed the way this run worked out for them. But unfortunately, it didn't go their way, and Boca takes the win here in the first round. And that'll take us into our second round, and let's see if our contestant has any better luck than the last crew. Here we can see my man making his way out of Boca. Now, he's got this boat definitely up on step. My man has got the throttle pinned, taking a little bit of a backlashing, but no worries here. He's going to get this one right out the inlet and start to make his turn south. And here things will calm down just a little bit for him, but my man will keep this thing up on plane and make his way easily out of the inlet and is definitely going to take a win for the boats here in the second round. Now let's see how our third round crew does as they prepare to step in the ring and do battle with a rough Boca inlet. Here we've got a Boston Whaler making it its way out of Boca, and this crew's off to a rough start. Boca's throwing some shots at them early, and they're taking a pounding. Things calm down here in the middle a little bit, but now we're about to step out into the bigger rollers, and let's see how these guys handle these waves out here. And oh man, they get rocked. Boca throws them a big shot right there. Now, it doesn't quite look like in the replay they actually stuffed the bow, but it's exceptionally close, about as close as you can get without stuffing the bow, but either way, it was a massive shot by Boca. Kind of slows these guys down, and it's one they're definitely going to remember as they're coming out of the inlet. And I'm not going to have any choice here but to go ahead and give this round to Boca. The rest of their way out is pretty clean, but that one shot, man, Boca went for the kill, and I'm giving it to him. And that's going to give Boca an early 2-1 to one lead as we head into our fourth round. But don't worry, the boats are not done yet. The boats are going to see what they can pull out here in the final two rounds and see if they can pull off a win. And here goes our fourth round contestant here. And we've got a big cigarette. Man, these guys have it pinned. This cigarette's absolutely blasting its way out of Boca. Now, our captain's a little bit all over the throttles, but it's a rough day. So he's doing everything he can to counteract that. Basically, as he goes up the waves, before he comes crashing down, he pulls back on the throttle, basically trying to keep this boat moving just fast enough to keep it up on plane, but just slow enough to not get out of control and have any hard smacks down. But overall, they do a pretty solid job, and I'm going to give the win to the boats here in this round. And that'll take us into our fifth and final round. Who will take the win in this episode? Will it be the boats or Boca Inlet? And here comes our fifth round competitor, making their way toward the mouth of the inlet. And this crew's taking a little different approach. They're coming in very shallow. Typically, we see people go straight out of Boca and they come straight in but our crew it appears is going to come right at the mouth of Boca Inlet and make their turn there which typically is a shallower area but we see people with more local knowledge do this and this crew is going to make that turn and it looks like they're going to skip all the heavy rollers that are further out outside of the inlet and they're going to blast their way right in and take a win for the boats here in the fifth round and that's going to make the boats the winner of this episode thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover if you did please check out our other content we have wavy boats who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens in the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.